hello. On behalf of Putnam County Playhouse, this is Jack Randall Earls, the man in the chair, and today we're getting to know board member Shelly McFadden. Hi Shelly, how are you? I'm good, Jack. How are you? Oh, I'm great. It's so good to have you here. It's great to be here. Now you've been you've worked at the Putnam County Playhouse for for a long time. You you appear on stage, you do costumes, you direct, and, and I just want to Talk to you a little bit about what all you've been doing. Uh, what was your first show at the Playhouse and, and how did you get involved in that? Uh, my first show at the Playhouse was the female version of The Odd Couple in uh, 1991 and I played the Felix Unger character, Florence Unger, and it was directed by oh, Mr. Yes. Jack Randall Earls. And uh, I had heard about the Playhouse a little bit. We, had, we were kind of new to the community and I'd heard some really good things about it. And um, I auditioned and I don't know that I've ever told you, but that was um, my first speaking role ever. <laughs> the lead. Yes, and it was pretty terrifying. <laughs> it was terrifying, but it was so much fun. And my husband was, uh, he was one of the Costa Zuela brothers. brothers. And uh, I think he was Jesus. Yes. And uh, to Brad's Manolo, Brad Sandy's Manolo. Yes. And um, we just, we just fell in love with this place and we've been here pretty much ever since. Uh, that was, I still owe you a nickel. Yeah, you do. <laughs> that, uh, that, that was a very nice cast. Uh, the, the ensemble, there was Bunny Carroll and Lita Sandy and Kathy Steffen yep. and Karen Sutherland. Uh -huh. uh, and I think Greg Steffen, I think, did the technical he work did, yeah. for that show. It was yeah. very funny. It was very, very funny. funny. And Diane, I can't remember her last name, Diane played the Oscar Madison. Diane, yes. Yeah. Oh, I should have looked that up. Diane, we love you. <laughs> uh, you know, you've appeared on stage, as I said, and directed uh, many productions at Putnam County Playhouse and elsewhere. And I, I, I think I'd like to ask you: Do you have a preference for directing or acting? Do you do you do you care more about one uh, doing more than one than um, the other? Not really. I mean, it's kind of. It's not as serious as Sophie's choice, but it's a it's a choice I don't want to make because I love being on stage. It's it's incredibly fun, and there's a dynamic with the cast um, that you just enjoy so much. Um, I love directing. I love finding the perfect cast for a show and um, watching them work together, and it, it's just a joy. So I love both. I would well, hate to choose. <laughs> what was the first show you directed here? The first show I directed, I believe, was Never Too Late. I think it was. Well, e that was in 2011, I think. Then it was Man in the uh, the Mark of Cain. Mark of Cain could have been the Mark of Cain. The Mark of Cain mystery. Yes, yes. Uh, um, it was one of my favorite shows. I loved that show. Um, I had Keith Bodnarik, who was just amazing, and uh, we actually had we had to have a body double, and we uh, Tony. I can't remember his last name. But anyway, he was the same height and build as, as Keith. And so it was just, it was perfection. I remember that. Yeah, it was it was That was a, a scary cast. show. It was. Um, what's been your favorite experience on stage here? My favorite experience on stage? Um, I, I have loved so many of the characters. I loved playing the witch in Into the Woods. Um, Jan and I'll Be Back Before Midnight was one yes. of my all-time favorites. And um, I love ra 1940s Radio Hour. I got to play Ginger in that. And um, uh, <laughs> and then there was Beauty and the Beast, where I got to play Mrs. Potts. Which yes. And Annie. I loved playing Mrs. Hannigan and being so mean to all those adorable little girls. <laughs> all of those are, are, are very... Uh, fun shows and I, I enjoyed them all. Whenever you mention the 1940s radio hour, I, um, I, I always remember Bruce Albright talking about the Cervell gas refrigerator with no moving parts. <laughs> the only refrigerator with no moving yes, parts. Yes. So that was one of the best shows ever. <laughs> one of the, and Anne uh, Dixon. Anne Dixon was a great musical director. You would have thought that music was right from those 40s records. Yeah, she, and we had, the, we had the orchestra right on the stage and they were yes. part of the show and yes. it was, it, that was so much fun. And Sean Riggs. Yeah. He yeah. did a very nice job. He did. Um, what, I know you work elsewhere. What, what do you think makes Putnam County Playhouse different from other community theaters? Well, 
I think the people that we get are just first and foremost um, just amazing. Our board of directors, our board of directors, is so committed to um, good production value. I mean, we we put money behind our shows, and our costumes are good, and our sets are good, and you know, we do a, we do a great job with all of that, and then pulling together some amazingly talented people from this community. Um, it, I don't know. It's just there's just something really special about the barn that I've never found anywhere else. Well, I agree. Now, as a member of the board, you're the uh, chairperson of a couple of committees: the program committee, and also the costume committee. Mm -hmm. well, what do you have to do in the capacity of those leadership roles? Um, really, I feel like as on the program committee, I feel like. I'm a facilitator. We have some amazingly um, educated people who know about theater, who know shows. Um, well, you and, and Rick and Dustin and Caroline and uh, Megan Armitage and uh, I'm going to leave some people out and, I'm, and Drew Bratton. Um, just people who really know shows and know our community and our patrons. And I feel like what I do is just kind of facilitate discussion and um, help formulate a season that's cohesive and that our our audience is going to love and our actors are going to just you know enjoy doing so mm -hmm. that's pretty much so it. you don't just pick four shows that don't have any relation to each other you try to pick a season four shows that that will fit together yes as as a cohesive unit, mm -hmm. you said. Yeah, and we've had um, some seasons where we've had a theme. Uh, Love Conquers All, I think, was a yes. recent one. Um, yes. So, you know, just finding ways that we can make the shows work together is really fun. What about the costume loft? The costume loft is my joy. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love it. And I've never, I n really never did anything like that, but just, um, I don't know, just helping the, uh, directors find costumes, making sure that it's user friendly, that we can find what we need when we need it. Um, and, and we've really built a tremendous um, yes. stock of, yes. of costumes up there. So yes. it's just a, it's a fun place to do. And we have, I mean, Caroline Good works on the committee and she's just amazing. Um, and we've had so many people that come alongside us and, you know, sewn costumes, built costumes over the years and, and we really have a nice a nice selection of things. Yes. So yes. it's it's a joy. A lot of shows you can cast you can costume directly from your stock. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Shelley. Now, let me ask you: is, is there an amusing anecdote on stage or off? Do you have one that you'd like to share with us? Well, I have a couple. Um, right. My whole life is one series of uh, embarrassing events, pretty much, but. Um, I had, when I, I played Mrs. Potts in Beauty and the Beast, and which every child knows the words to that song, but apparently I don't. <laughs> and so I worked and worked and worked on it, and on, we have a family night audience, you know, that's the family of the cast. And that night, for some reason, while Belle and the Beast are dancing and Cogsworth and Lumiere are over on stage right, I forgot the words and I just made them up. And so instead of whatever it's supposed to be, I sang Learning to be Strange. And I saw <laughs> Cogsworth and Lumiere kind of, <laughs> bless her heart, the little girl that played Chip never, never turned her saucer. She just, you know, she was in it the whole time. And it was terrifying. It was terrifying, but it, that was fun. Um, I think as a director, one of my favorite, favorite moments was in The Mark of Cain where uh, Keith Bodnarik was supposed to drag Brad Williamson, whom he had just killed, off stage. And when he did, I mean, he he killed him down left and had to take him, you know, all the way up um, up stage. And so it looked kind of awkward. And so I said, I, I think I've got something you can use that'll make this easier. So I, the next day, I brought in furniture movers, those discs, you know, that are soft on one side and and kind of uh, smooth on the other. And so he took Brad and rolled him over and popped a disc on one cheek. And then he rolled him over to the other side and popped a disc on the other. And it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. And the audience just died every single night. And it just, uh, I, I just, one of the most brilliant things. <laughs> a happy accident, but well, yeah. And we live for those moments. We do live for, we those, live moments. for those moments. Uh, 
You know, in closing, Shelley, let me ask you, when you get to theater heaven, what do you hope to hear the director say? Um, I would like to hear him say, you know, I didn't even know that was you in that role for the first 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shelley. Sure. I appreciate you showing up today and talking to us. And uh, this is Jack Randall Earls, the man in the chair. And on behalf of the Putnam County Playhouse, I hope that we see you again real soon. Thank you.